Choo Choo and Friends in Story Time. <laughs> it was a Sunday afternoon in the heat of summer. Choo Choo's mother was working in the kitchen. The children were playing games and having fun. Yay! And the grown-ups were relaxing. The hot sun made Choo Choo feel thirsty. Phew! It's really hot today. I better get myself some cool water to drink. When Choo Choo went into the kitchen, she saw her mother working there. Oh, look at mother. She looks so tired. But she's still cooking everyone's favorite things. And she's doing all the housework all by herself. Poor mother. She's trying to make everyone happy and comfortable all by herself. I should help her. Choo Choo stopped playing and went to help her mother. Mother, I'd like to help you. That's very thoughtful of you, Choo Choo. When the rest of the family saw Choo Choo helping her mother, they decided to help out too. Choo Choo's father started washing the dishes. Choo Choo's grandpa filled the water bottles. Choo Choo's grandma helped with the cooking. Cha Cha set the dinner table. The baby didn't want to be left out and came forward to help, too. <laughs> Choo Choo's mother felt very happy when she saw the whole family helping out. Thank you, everyone. It's really nice of you to help me out. I'm really lucky to have such a loving family. I love you all. Choo Choo felt very happy when she realized that she had set a good example for the others and made her mother's work easier. And we love you too, Mother! Mwah! As the sun rose over the horizon, it shone on the lovely suburb of Scottsdale, which was just starting to get busy. A little girl named Choo Choo, who lived in a lovely house there, had just woken up and was getting ready for school. As she walked down the stairway, a smell caught her attention and lured her toward the kitchen. Her mommy was busy making her lunch. Good morning, mommy! Good morning, sweetheart! Mmm, something smells good! What is it? It's my grandma's secret recipe! Spicy chickpea sandwich! Is it for breakfast? No, it's for your lunch. Mmm, yummy! Thank you, Mommy. Choo Choo! The school bus will be here any minute. You've got to get moving. I'm ready, Mom. OK. <laughs> 
Okay, let's go! The wheels on the bus go round and round Round and round, round and round The wheels on the bus go round and round All through the town The wheels on the bus go round and round Round and round, round and round The wheels on the bus go round and round All through the town Choo Choo's stomach started to growl. She couldn't wait for the lunch bell to ring. Would you like to try this spicy chickpea sandwich that my mommy made for me? Mmm, I'd love that! Here! Opening the lunchbox, <gasps> Choo Choo finds that her sandwich is missing. Her eyes fill with tears. It looks like someone ate your sandwich and left you with an empty lunchbox. You must feel very sad. I will help you figure this out later. But for now, why don't you share my lunch with me? The two sat together and shared Chiku's lunch and an apple that Choo Choo had brought. When they finished, they returned to class. Come on, Choo Choo, it's bedtime. Share my lunch. It looks like someone is being mean to you. Let's put an end to this mischief. How do we do that, Chiku? Tomorrow we can both bring very spicy food. Ask your mom to make your sandwich very spicy. No one will be able to eat such a sandwich and they will learn their lesson. Sounds good. Good morning, Mommy! Good morning, sweetheart. Mommy, can you make me two sandwiches today? And make them very spicy? Sure, sweetheart. Be careful. It might be too spicy. Bye-bye, Mommy. Love you. Bye-bye. Love you, too. At 
lunchtime, Choo Choo and Chiku heard a loud scream and rushed to find Cusley running towards the boys' toilet. They both went to the locker and found Choo Choo's half-eaten sandwich. Huh? They smiled at each other. From that day onwards, Choo Choo's lunch remained intact for her to share with Chiku. This was in a quiet suburb in the city of Scottsdale. The suburb had a nice school and a lovely park. A little girl named Choo Choo and her younger brother Cha Cha lived in the lovely suburb. Next door lived a little girl Chiku with her brother Chica. They all went to the same school and were very close friends. After school, they loved playing in the neighborhood park. One day, while playing, they had noticed a man sleeping under a tree. This man seems to be sleeping whenever we see him. Oh yeah, I noticed that too. Should we find out whether he's sick and needs help? No. Let's not go near strangers and talk to them. But we should help. Once we go home, let's tell Mom and try to help him. You are right. Let's do that. Choo Choo, Cha Cha, Chiku, and Chica started to play. <laughs> I need to get rid of these kids. They are disturbing my sleep. Need to make sure they never come back. Looking around, the man noticed a few paint cans. Mommy, there is a man in the park who is always sleeping. We fear that he is sick. We wanted to tell you and get him help. Good job! I shall look into it. Choo Choo's mom called the mayor's office and reported. The mayor's office assured to have a look into it. The mayor visited the park and he put a community notice. Homeless man. The mayor left the park and the man started to paint the monster. The weekend had started. The kids head towards the park, wanting to play. Choo Choo's mom, with a book in her hand, sat on the park bench. Mommy! Mommy! All of a sudden, Choo Choo's mom heard the kids scream. Whoa! What's wrong? Why did you all scream? Why are you trembling? The kids pointed their fingers towards the painting. She saw the monster's painting and held the kids. She distracted them by giving them some toys and a little candy. She called the mayor's office and reported this incident. Folks, Till we figure this out, let's not send the kids to the park alone. Play safe and yell out if you get scared. I'm right here. Just play where I can see you. We play right here and we'll be safe. As they were playing, they see the man shivering. Cha-Cha, looks like the man is really sick. Look at him shivering. You were right. Let's go tell your mom. The kids run and tell Choo-Choo's mom what they had seen. Good job, little ones. 
Let me call for an ambulance to take him to the hospital. And the man got better. Who brought me to the hospital? He was told about the kids who found him sick. The man felt bad of his misdeed. Discharged from the hospital, the man went to the park. He saw the kids playing from a distance. I was being mean to these little kids. It's time to make it right. Let me remove the scary monster picture I had painted. From that day onward, he sat and enjoyed watching the kids playing. He watched over them and kept an eye on them ever after. In the city of Scottsdale, there lived a girl named Choo Choo. She was a sweet girl with a very kind heart. But she was so careless that she kept losing her school supplies. Although it upset her, Choo Choo's mom kept buying new school supplies. Then one Monday morning, her mommy yelled out, Choo Choo, could you get me your backpack, please? Yes, Mommy. I'll be right there. Here it is. I've got to run to the restroom. I'll be right back. Her mom took out her pencil case and found it to be empty. Hmm, that's it. I've had enough of her losing her school supplies. This needs to stop. She needs to start being more responsible. Did you wash your hands? I sure did, Mommy! Good job! Listen, young lady. I have been patient with you. I have replenished your empty pencil case with school supplies every single day. I have replenished it with two new pencils and a sharpener again today. These are going to be your school supplies for the whole week. If you lose them, you won't get new ones for another week. Have I made myself clear? Yep. I'm going to be really careful with them, Mommy. Good. The school bus will be here any minute. Let's get going. So, how was your day at school? It was good. I had a lot of fun. Okay, time to grab a fruit. Fruit? Ew! I will pretend I didn't hear that. Are you done with the fruit? Yes! Good. Do you have all of your school supplies? Choo Choo looked at her mom with a blank stare. I don't remember. Hmm, go fetch me your pencil case. Choo Choo walked to her backpack, grabbed her pencil case, and gave it to her mom. Nature calls. I'll be right back. Choo Choo's mom opened up the pencil case and once again was shocked to see it empty. Now I've had it. This girl needs to learn responsibility. Choo Choo, are you done? Nearly done, Mom. Be right there. Hurry up. We are heading out for some shopping. Ta-da! I'm here. Put on your shoes and hop into the car. Choo Choo ran to put on her shoes and jumped into the car. Let's head to the store and pick up a few things. Sure, Mom. Uh, 
Do I get a treat? Hmm, one small chocolate. And that's it. Yay! Thank you! Choo Choo's mother stopped by the store. Choo Choo was busy walking along the aisle, searching for her chocolate. Her mom picked up a few packs of pencils, a few sharpeners, and some chocolates. The car stopped by a small foster home. Come on, Choo Choo! Choo Choo got down and held her mom's hand and walked along. Children, Mrs. Charlie is here to visit us. Could you all please come here? All the kids assembled in the visitor's area. Hello, little ones. Hello, Mrs. Charlie. This is my daughter, Choo Choo. Hello, Choo Choo. She wanted to visit you all and play with you. Aww, sweet of her. Could you kids teach her how to draw? Yes, Mrs. Charlie. One kid ran and fetched a piece of paper and the pencil case. Come on, Choo Choo. Let's all draw. The kids gave the pencil case to Choo Choo. Choo Choo opened it and found a small pencil with a broken eraser and a broken sharpener. Choo Choo looked at her mom and her eyes flooded with tears. Hey! Why are you crying? Come on! Don't cry! Choo Choo silently walked over to her mom and whispered in her ear. Choo Choo's mom gave a pack of pencils to Choo Choo. Choo Choo, share these pencils with your friends here. Yes, Mommy! All the kids jumped with joy. They sharpened the new pencils and started to draw. A few hours went by. Choo Choo, it's getting late. Give them all a hug. I know you will miss them all. Let's come back another day. Okay, Mommy. Choo Choo gave them all a hug. I'll see you all soon. Choo Choo was awfully quiet. What's wrong, Angel? Choo Choo's eyes filled with tears. She started to talk. Mommy, my friends back there had one pencil with a broken eraser and a broken sharpener. Yes, they did. And here I've been losing my school supplies every single day. Hmm. I have been careless with my school supplies. I have lost so many pencils and sharpeners. If I had been careful, I could have shared them with my friends. Mommy? Yes, darling? I will never ever lose my school supplies again. I have realized my mistake. I will be responsible, Mommy. Good, sweetheart. I'm glad you realized it. Mommy kissed Choo Choo. And from that day on, Choo Choo never again lost her school supplies. She also made a point to visit her friends every weekend and play with them. Choo Choo and her friends lived happily ever after. Once upon a time, there lived a boy named Cusley. He had grown to be a naughty kid. He pushed his friends down, bullied them, and wanted his way around in everything. His friends were soft and forgiving in nature. They just put up with his harsh and rough behavior thinking he would change. He had the bad habit of tearing his books, 
throwing his clothes, and breaking his toys. It was not going to be long before someone taught him a lesson. It was a nice sunny day. His mom yelled out, Cusley! Your room looks like a garbage bin! Your clothes, toys, and books are all over the floor! I need the floor cleaned up with all your things put in place! I will be paying a visit to your room pretty soon! You don't want to be grounded, do you? Did you hear me? Yeah, yeah, loud and clear. I'll make sure the floor is cleaned up. Wow, that was fast. This does not look like your room. Good job. Hmm? <laughs> Come on, let's go for a stroll and grab an ice cream. It's a treat for your hard work. Mommy, I feel tired and sleepy. Dinner is ready. Have an early dinner and hit the sack. Yeah, okay. Whoa, I so forgot that I had dumped these things on the bed. Now, get out of my bed and get back to where you belong! Cusley threw his books to the floor. He tossed his toys around and dumped his clothes under his bed. Now that my bed is cozy, let me put off the light and go to sleep. The next moment, Cusley was deep in sleep and was snoring away to glory. He started to mumble. He started to toss and turn in his sleep. The toy monster truck zooms past, trying to crush his toes. The books flew around, crashing and bumping into him. The clothes piled up together and was trying to cover him. The toy robot was pulling his hair, jumping up and down on his tummy. Finally, the giant storybook that was hanging on the rack above him crashed onto his head with a bang. There was a loud thud. Cusley had rolled off the bed and was on the floor. He woke up shrieking, startled, dazed, and sweaty. Whoa! What was that? Looks like I had a dreadful dream. It was more of a nightmare. Let me get up and put my things in order. Let me put them where they belong. From that day onwards, he realized his folly and decided to be gentle to one and all. He promised that he will take good care of his books and toys. Choo Choo was very excited. The next day was her mother's birthday. And as a surprise, she was going to bake a delicious birthday cake with her aunt's help. We'll make a delicious birthday cake. We'll put lots of cherries and icing on it. And we'll also put a message that says, Happy birthday, Mom! Choo Choo just couldn't wait to give the cake to her mother. Choo Choo went to her aunt's house the next morning and baked the cake together. It smelled delicious. Together, Choo Choo and her aunt decorated the cake with sweet icing and some juicy cherries. Choo Choo's aunt even put the message Choo Choo had wanted. 
It said, Happy birthday, Mom! The cake is ready, Choo Choo! You can give it to your mother now! She's going to love it! Thank you so much for helping me! I know my mom will love the cake! Choo Choo took the cake back home very carefully. I am going to sing the birthday song when I give my mom this cake. Choo Choo was being very careful with the cake. But the street outside her house was slippery and Choo Choo fell. Oh, ow! The beautiful birthday cake came crashing down. to surprise mom with. Choo Choo's mother saw her crying. Choo Choo? What's wrong? Why are you crying, my dear? Choo Choo told her mother about the birthday cake and how it had toppled over. The cake was a birthday surprise for you, mom. Choo Choo's mother was very touched by her thoughtfulness. The cake would have been a wonderful surprise, Choo Choo. Thank you for baking it for me. But please, don't worry about what happened. But Choo Choo felt terrible. She wanted to give her mother something for her birthday. I wonder if there's anything else I can give Mom to make her feel special. Just then, Choo Choo's friends Chica and Chiku came by. When Choo Choo told them what had happened, they had an idea for what to do. Why don't you make a birthday card for your mom, Choo Choo? You can write a nice poem on it. Choo Choo liked the idea. That's a lovely idea. I can make mom a beautiful birthday card and write a poem on it. So, Choo Choo made a beautiful birthday card with a pretty picture on the front and a nice poem inside. Happy birthday, Mommy! I hope your day is full of joy and cheer. With this card, your daughter Choo Choo is sending you lots of love. Happy birthday, Mommy! From your darling son, Cha-Cha. When the card was ready, Choo Choo, Cha Cha, and Baby Taku took it to their mother. Happy birthday, Mom! I have a surprise for you! Ta da! What a beautiful birthday card! Thank you, Choo Choo! This is a beautiful birthday surprise! Mommy! Here is mine! Wow! This is a lovely gift, Cha-Cha! Thank you, dear! Wee 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 wee! Wow! This is so cute! I love you, dear! Choo Choo was delighted! Her mother really liked the birthday card! She thanked her friends for giving her the idea! Cosley was always showing off and putting his friends down. Chica, you are slowpoke. You can't run as fast as me. La la la, la la la, la la la. Oh, Choo Choo, you sound like a frog when you sing. Don't you wish you could sing as nicely as me? Cha Cha, you really can't dance. Look at me. I dance so well. Chiku, the pictures you draw look terrible. Look at the ones I draw. They are wonderful. Cosley's friends always felt hurt by his rude words. I wish Cosley wasn't so rude to us. Yes! I wish he understood how badly he makes us feel. One day, 
Choo Choo and the other children decided to participate in a talent day that was being held at the school. La 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 Choo Choo sang beautifully and won first prize. Chiku received an award for a picture that she painted. And Chika and Cha Cha won some races. The only friend who didn't win anything was Cusley, and he felt terrible about it. I'm the only one who hasn't won anything. I always thought I was the best. But Choo Choo and the others didn't make fun of Cusley. Instead, they went up to him and tried to make him feel better. Don't lose hope, Cusley. There are many more competitions that you can take part in. There's a dance competition coming up soon. We are participating in it. You're a good dancer. I'm sure we'll win if you join our team. So Cusley joined Choo Choo and the others. They all practiced together. Come on! Let's work hard and help each other win! Choo Choo and her friends stole the show during the dance competition. Hooray! Everyone loves our dance! The team's dance was the best, and they won first prize. Yay! Our team has won! Yes, Cusley! We've won! Because we all did our best. And helped each other win. That's what is so special about being a team. Cusley never made fun of anyone ever again. He tried to be more like Choo Choo by encouraging others instead. He learned that being patient, kind, and loving can bring out the best in others. Once upon a time, there lived a very wealthy man. He had a sweet and kind-hearted daughter. Since the man's wife had died, he married again, hoping his new wife would be a good mother to his daughter. But the man's new wife turned out to be a mean and selfish woman. And she had two daughters who were just like her. They were all so rude and mean that the man grew very unhappy. And went to work far away. And so the man left, leaving his daughter with her stepmother and stepsisters. The poor girl was loving and kind to her stepmother and stepsisters, but they were very mean to her and turned her into a servant. They even changed her name to Cinderella, since her face grew dusty from the cinders that she would clean in the fireplace. <laughs> Your face is always full of cinders. <laughs> we will call you Cinderella. Cinderella. <laughs> <laughs> One day, a royal messenger came to the house. The king and queen have invited all the young ladies who live here to a ball tomorrow evening. Their son, the prince, will dance with all the young ladies and choose a bride. The invitation made everyone very happy. I can't wait to dance with the prince. 
I hope he chooses me as his bride. I will make sure that my daughters are the best dressed amongst all the young ladies at the ball. On the day of the ball, Cinderella's stepmother bought the best clothes and shoes for her two daughters. But she didn't get anything for Cinderella. Mother, I'd like something new to wear to the ball too. I don't have anything other than these clothes. Cinderella, these clothes are just right for you because you're a servant girl. And as you know, servant girls shouldn't dance with princes or come to balls. <laughs> Poor Cinderella. She sat at home and cried while everyone else went to the ball. Suddenly, a kind and beautiful fairy appeared. Hello, Cinderella. Hello? Who are you? I'm your fairy godmother. Would you like to go to the ball? Huh? I'd like to, but I can't. I don't have nice clothes to wear or a carriage to travel in, you see. You will have everything you need to go to the ball as soon as I wave my wand. And Cinderella's old clothes turned into a shimmering evening gown. Her slippers turned into delicate glass slippers. Huh? Wow! The fairy godmother then took Cinderella to the garden. She waved her wand again and turned a pumpkin into a shiny golden carriage. The fairy godmother also turned the mice playing in the garden into horses, a rat into a coachman, and a lizard into a smart footman. I can go to the ball now. Thank you, fairy godmother. Enjoy yourself, Cinderella. But be sure to return by midnight, as my magic will disappear after that. And the beautiful dress that you're wearing, the coachman, the footmen and the horses will all turn back into what they were before. I will be back by midnight, Fairy Godmother. Goodbye! So, Cinderella left for the ball. Cinderella looked so beautiful that everyone turned to look at her the moment she entered the palace. And the prince was so charmed by her that he only wanted to dance with her. May I please dance with you? Huh? Yes! No one recognized Cinderella and she felt very happy dancing with the prince. The prince felt that she was the kindest, most beautiful young woman he had ever met. Who is that girl? The prince only wants to dance with her. I have never seen her before. She must be a princess or someone very wealthy. Time flew by as Cinderella danced with the prince. And in no time, it grew close to midnight. I'm sorry, Prince, but it's time for me to leave now. Wait! Please tell me your name and where you live, so we can meet again.
Cinderella reached her house just as the clock struck midnight. And right after that, the magic disappeared. Only the glass slipper on Cinderella's foot remain unchanged. The very next day, the royal messenger came to the house with the prince. Oh, it's the prince. He must be wanting to marry me. No, me. The messenger was carrying the glass slipper that had fallen off Cinderella's foot. We are looking for the owner of this slipper. The prince will marry whoever this slipper fits. The slipper's mine. Ah, oh, it's too big for my foot. Ugh, it's too small for my foot. The prince noticed Cinderella standing in the corner. And though she looked very different, from the way she looked at the ball, he walked right up to her. Please, would you try this slipper on? You are the one who I danced with last night. You are my princess. Yes, she is. Huh? Cinderella and the prince had a grand wedding. They invited everyone to the celebrations and left no one out. Cinderella even invited her stepsisters and stepmother, who decided to be as kind and loving as Cinderella. Cinderella and the prince then lived happily ever after. Chica was a sweet boy. But he always wanted to throw his things away whenever they got a little old or damaged. Cusley saw Bubbles watching them, and he gave the puppy a big slice of pizza. Hi, Bubbles. Are you hungry? Do you want some pizza too? Here's a slice. Magical mirror on the wall. Tell me, who is the fairest of them all? The magical mirror would always speak the truth and tell the queen that she was the fairest. You, my queen. Choo Choo had lots of toys and books that she no longer played with or read. I remember this toy. I used to have so much fun playing with it. <laughs> 